and now and now people talk about it like it's just commonplace. And it's, Is there it's, a catchphrase we could maybe have going here of the Tumblrfication of America? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I, I mean, I came up with my own. I, I did my own fake TEDx talk on my channel. I cooked up one and came up really? with a topic. Yeah. I, uh, well, I'll, I can send you the link, but... Uh, yeah, that's great. I, I would love to see it. Yeah. So I came up with the phrase um, malicious tranquility. <laughs> so you see, the problem is if you find a space in your life where you're at peace and everything's calm, that's bad. Because right. you see, that just shows that you have the privilege of experiencing a kind of world that no one else can ever hope to have. Yeah. You know, it is, it is, it is exemplative of your own corruption that you are able to find peace when no one else can. So here's what you do. I have, I have three steps for you to take to cure yourself of your malicious tranquility. Step number one, when you're at home, you need to take off your shoes not wear socks and cover your entire floor with Legos because okay. trying to navigate through your own habitat in a dangerous environment like that will teach you and bring right. you close to understanding the kind of obstacles that people have to deal with every day. And so it went on like this. I just took that phrase and I just, I just uh, reverse engineered a TEDx talk and I'll, I'll send you the link. Uh, it's, it's about three minutes long or something. Uh, it's very brief. It reminds me of uh, my Finney and Edwards joke. I, I don't know if you ever seen him as a kind of black guy. Um, I don't know if he's super well known. He's a killer writer, but he used to do this joke about he goes, "If you want to know what it feels like to be black in America, get an Android." <laughs> 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 <laughs>